Hey guys, my name is Mel and I'm a full-time eBay seller. Today I'm going to show you a video of my garage and how I store all my stock. Hey guys, I wanted to do this quick video today because I've spent the last um, few days redoing my space. Um, what was happening was that my stores have been growing and I'm running out of room. I now have about 2,000 items between my eBay stores and um, I'm just was finding that I was tripping over tubs. I didn't have room to pots to stack them all. Um, I had no space left and yeah, tubs were just kind of all over the floor and it was slowing me up as I've been packing my orders because I'm tripping over all these tubs everywhere. So what I've done is I've moved things all around in the garage and I've changed the position of where some things were and what it's done is it's actually allowed up enough space for me to add 28 more tubs. So some of those tubs were already piling around the ground, they just had no home. But I've been able to buy some more tubs as well. So now I've even got some empty ones which is just amazing um, and exactly what I needed. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a tour and show you exactly where I keep everything and what, um, what it all looks like. How do I store 2,000 items in my garage? Firstly, um, I use our two car garage um, to store everything. So I don't have the whole of the garage but I'm using about three quarters of the space because we obviously still have personal stuff that needs to be in the garage. So we've gone, I've got it partitioned off. So behind this rack of um, tubs is actually some shelving for our normal garage stuff. You know, the kids' bikes are in there, um, my husband's tools are in there, and camping gear and all that kind of stuff. So I'm using about three quarters of the space of a two car garage here. Also, the tubs that I use, because I do get a lot of questions, they're 50 litre tubs. I buy them from Bunnings and they're around $5 each. So um, they're not too expensive, but I do have to say that the lids aren't very strong and often the lids do end up cracking if um, my items, if the boxes get a little bit heavy. And that's just because I don't have shelves. They're all stacked on top of each other. So there is quite a lot of weight that's going in the bottom box. So always make sure the bottom box, um, you know, has a nice sturdy lid and swap them around if they start to break so the, the broken ones kind of go at the top. If they break too much, I just go and buy a new tub. The other question I get is, how do you get to the bottom tub? <laughs> so, um, yes, I have to unstack all the tubs it's not really an issue. It doesn't take me very long and um, it's good for my muscles, which I don't have, <laughs> but it's a good workout for me. But really, if I was to put shelves in here, I'd only be able to pack about five tubs high. So it just wouldn't be enough space. I would lose way too many boxes and this just has to work for, what I, for my level of stock. So I don't have a choice. If I put shelves in here, I would fit far less boxes. So I'm, until I'm at the stage where I'm big enough to maybe get a warehouse or something, I'm stuck doing it this way. But it really doesn't bother me. It's really not hard. It's actually very quick. Um, I've got the space here in between, so it's just pull one down, 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 down. I make sure when I'm picking my orders that um, I'm only going once to, to the tub. You know, I, I put my orders in, in order. So, um, and that's to make sure that I don't go to the bottom tub, stack it back up, and then five orders down the track, I find that I've got another one down in the bottom um, pile. I make sure that I'm all in order before I start picking the, picking the orders, and that way I'm only going to um, the one box the one time. So yeah, it's pretty much just stacking them, unstacking them. Also, it's extremely windy here today and I can hear the wind rattling outside. So I do apologize if there's a little bit of background noise. It is the wind. 
Okay, so I've just flicked the camera around and this door is actually the internal access from my garage. So that door goes into my house. What you can see here is my death pile rack. So basically every time I go to the op shop, I come in and I hang anything up that needs hanging or there's a couple of buckets down the bottom for shoes or I put random stuff on top. And basically everything on that rack is what I need to photograph and list. So I can stay on top of it. I know if that's getting out of control because um, you know there's too much on that. There's actually a lot on it at the moment simply because as I've been cleaning up this week, I had all this stuff that was just shoved in random spots and um, it hadn't been listed. So I've found quite a bit as I've been cleaning up. The rack is now full and it shows me that I need to um, you know, get all of that photographed and listed. I don't mind having a little bit of a death pile but I don't like having really any more than that because otherwise I just feel like it's wasted money. You know, even on that rack there, there's probably several hundred dollars worth and you know, that's, a, that's dead money to me if it's not listed. If it can't be um, purchased, then it's just a waste sitting there. That's just my view. <laughs> it's not that I don't like having any death pile. I do like having a little bit. So for the days when I can't get to a thrift shop or an op shop, it's, it's there, but I don't like having too much. Just down here, this is my dryer and my um, freezer. That just has to stay there. That's just part of it. Um, I've got my filing cabinet over here and on top of the filing cabinet is a um, that little box there. That's where I put all my receipts. So as soon as I've come in from op shopping or purchasing any new tubs or anything for the business, I pop the receipt into that tub and then at the end of the month I gather all those receipts up for the month and I do my monthly paperwork. I'm a, little, I'm a few months behind on that at the moment but I'm getting to that this week. This week is a catch up week. <laughs> Okay, so coming through down here, this is my book aisle. So what I've done in the garage is this book aisle was much wider. I kind of had it separated into half. So the tubs were in half and the books were in half. But what I realized was that I really didn't need as much space in the book aisle because with the tubs, I have to pull them up and down and off from each other. But the books, I just go straight to the shelf and grab the book. So um, I just moved those shelves in closer so this is narrower now and I can walk all the way down and find all my books. They're all easy to find. As you can see, all the shelves are labelled. That way in my SKU inside my um, eBay listing, it tells me exactly where the book is. So if I need to buy this book, Healthy Evan, Healthy Every Day, I already, it's in the SKU that it says that book is on shelf number B5. So it's really simple. So yeah, this is all my books. And coming down here, you'll see I've got about four tubs there of DVDs and a box of games. So that's where I keep all of those. I don't have too many DVDs. It's not something that I particularly love. So um, one stack of those isn't, is enough for me. I can do a full 60 around here into my garage into my tubs so I've got a walkway so I can do a full circle walking around my garage so yeah I'll just turn back that is the books that is the death pile okay now excuse the light I um, my garage light is broken so I have a temporary one set up okay this is my new packing station and I absolutely love it it's gonna work perfectly for me so I was working off a trestle table. Now the problem with the trestle table is it's a little bit low. So what I was finding after a big day of packing a heap of orders, I'd have a really sore back because I'd been crouched over. So I just kind of figured that wasn't working. I also found that it was a bit of a waste of space because I was just shoving tubs and junk and stuff underneath it. So I decided that I wanted a workbench with actual shelves where I could store all my packing supplies. And this is just working so fantastically. I'm so happy with it. I do have a little bit of extra room here and I'm tossing up to buy a second one just to give it so I've got some extra width because um, I think that would really help. So here it is and I'm just going to show you what I've got on it. So in this compartment I have my large satchels and down here I keep my DVD packaging with some stamps. 
Over here, I've got the medium satchels. I buy them in bulk of ten, in bulk lots of ten. Um, and under here, I have got the hard cardboard tracked envelopes. I can use those for DVDs, for books, um, and also sometimes for small thin pieces of clothing. Now these two here have got my um, small satchels. Um, I've filled up two compartments with them just because I order them in bulk and use so many of those. So those ones there are all the small satchels. Down here I'm going to be keeping my snap lock bags that I use um, to put all my items in the bins. I've got spare sticky tape. Um, there's a lot of that because I order it in bulk off eBay. And down there I've got some shoe supplies. So when I'm photographing shoes or um, stuff, I've got my pool noodles to put inside the shoes and cleaning supplies. And there's my, um, you know, D pillar and all that kind of stuff. So, and down here's a couple of storage boxes. So up here I've just placed, I've got the top one is full of all my little thank you cards. The middle one is full of my numbers that I take out of the bags because every time um, I put an item into the bin, it's got an individual number in it. So I just take those out, swap it with a thank you card, and then I reuse these numbers all the time when I'm um, listing new items. And then down here, I've got my address labels, my scissors and my pens and stapler and anything like that that I need. So. That's awesome and I am absolutely loving my new packing station. So then we come across here into my tubs and this is where I store all my clothes. So um, while doing this clean up, I have actually been able to add some extra space here and I've been able to add another whole row of tubs. So I've now got 10 rows of tubs on this side. There's seven tubs high and um, that takes it to 70 tubs for that side. Now, this is my tub area. So I've been able to widen this area because I made the book area more narrow. And on this side here, I used to have that death pile rack in here. So I was only able to fit two rows of um, tubs. So I've now been able to add another 21 tubs to this side. So that's amazing just because where that death pile rack was before, we had other stuff that we were just using for like our family and stuff. So I've taken all that away to clear that space. So yeah, this is just awesome now. That means in total, I've added another 28 tubs to this area, um, which is just fantastic. And um, it's just gonna help me out a lot because the tubs were getting um, heavy. And um, I just need, oh, if I wanna keep growing, I still need to be able to add some extra tubs. The black tubs that you can see, they're full of all my shoes. So um, they will have S on them for shoe and then the number. So that way it goes into my skew and I know where it is. The last two rows of black tubs have the M on them and that stands for miscellaneous. So that's where I add soft toys or ornaments or toys or just random stuff that I buy, all the stuff that I don't like to sell, <laughs> that I experiment and try with. So they go in there. I have one shelf here that's kind of squished in, but what I use for that is um, stuff that I cross list to Facebook Marketplace. It just keeps it a little bit separate. Um, it's there, so it's easily accessible if somebody wants to come and my, my kids or my husband's home, I can just tell them it's on the shelf. Um, and that way, um, I don't get confused. Sometimes I also buy things specifically for Facebook Marketplace, so um, they might not fit in the tubs, so they might go on one of those racks. But yeah, that's it. You can see my garage door is behind these black tubs, so if you were to look from the outside, the garage door would roll up, you would see the back of my tubs, and down on the other side over there, you would see the portioned off area that we use for personal stuff. So yeah. So you can see that I've got so much extra width here now. It's fantastic. I've got more room as I'm pulling the tubs down. Um, just got a bit, it's just not so tight while I'm moving around. So not only have I made room for 28 new tubs, I've made room just to move around more and I've made this awesome table, which, you know, workbench, which is just fantastic and now has everything I need all in the one place. I, literally, once I pick those orders, I do not have to move. I can just sit here 
and pack, 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 super fast. So yeah, so that is my room. I currently have about 2,000 listings um, and this is how I store it. So guys, thank you. I hope that's given you a little bit of an insight onto how I store all these items at my house. Where do I fit 2,000 items? And yeah, I think you can see that by keeping it neat and tidy, it helps you work productively. Um, it, you know, time is money, so you don't want to be flopping around looking for things and you want everything to be in reach of what you're doing. So I think I've set this up to the best of my ability and I'm really happy with how it is. It was neat and tidy before, it obviously just was growing and I needed some extra space for some boxes. I'm really pleased that I've managed to fit in 28 more tubs, um, that's awesome. Um, I've got a little bit room there to grow. Um, I haven't finished growing for the year, it's going to be a bit of a balance to work out then where um, everything goes. I don't know, keep, stay along, keep, keep following me and watch as I grow and follow my journey and you know. You, you'll know when I know <laughs> what's going to happen. But thank you so much, guys. Make sure you sub to my channel. Um, I really appreciate it. Make sure you hit the little like and leave me a comment. And yeah, I'd love to know your thoughts about my working space. Thanks.